Two persons are in the custody of the Nigerian Air Force over the death of Flying Officer Tolilokwe Arutile, the NFA has said. The NFA Director of Public Relations and Information, M. Commander Ibikunle de Aramola, told the Punch on Friday that the public will be informed at the end of the investigation, adding that it may go beyond the NAF. He said, and I quote, First of all, in my first statement, I said she died from a road traffic accident. I further clarified the nature of the road traffic accident where one of our excited classmates who saw her reverse his car, which led to him eating her and knocking her down. This led to head injuries and a lot of emergency, which ultimately resulted in her death. The two boys are in custody and the NFA will do a thorough investigation into the matter. This is a routine process. Our own processes are ongoing because it's happened inside the NFA base. At the appropriate time, whatever information needs to go out will go out. But we cannot preempt that investigation process. End of quote. The NAF had said that Arutile, Nigeria's first female combat helicopter pilot, died at the NAF base in Kaduna State from head injuries after being hit by the car of a former classmate who was reversing to exchange pleasantries with her. It had initially suggested that the driver of the vehicle was a female. A member of the Nigerian Defense Academy Regular Course 64, Arutile hailed from Ife in the Ijumu local government area of Kogi State and contributed to the efforts to reach the north central states of Bandit and other criminal elements by flying combat missions. Her family and several others have called for a probe on her untimely death. Police have charged Taris Aspil, the personal assistant of Gokada founder Fahim Saleh, with murder of the tech CEO in his Manhattan apartment in New York. NYPD chief of detectives Rondi Arison said during a brief news conference on Friday that Mr. Aspil, 21, was charged with second degree murder over the gruesome killing and dismemberment of Mr. Saleh inside his 852. 0.5 million Nera East Houston Street apartment. It is believed that the motive involved in a broken promise to pay $100,000 in stolen cash. According to Mr. Aris in New York Post reports, Aspie worked as Salah's executive assistant and handled the international entrepreneur's finances and personal matters. It is also believed that he owed the victim a significant amount of money. Saleh, 33, founded Gokada in 2018, a Nigerian motorcycle ride-sharing company that recently transitioned into a delivery service and made Aspil the chief of staff at the firm. It is believed that Aspil defrauded his boss of $100,000 but was not reported after Saleh discovered it. Saleh instead broke out a repayment plan with Aspil. It is unclear when this occurred. This was an act of charity that turned into an act of murder, a source was quoted saying. Haspil is said to have been linked to the murder through evidence recovered from a taser believed to have been used to incapacitate Saleh. The former PA is also said to have used Saleh's credit cards to make purchases to clean up the, the killing. Surveillance video allegedly shows him going in and out of the store. The police chief, Arison, said Haspil allegedly attacked Saleh with a taser at 1.45 p.m. on Monday while Saleh was getting off an elevator that opened directly into his apartment. He added that Police learned of the killing the next day after Saleh's butchered remains were found when a cousin went to check on him. Hofstra University says Aspil dropped out after his freshman year. He was very private to his life. According to a friend, he said that, and I quote, he was very private with his life because I think he had a rough childhood. End of quote. <laughs> 